Happy Tuesday, statesmen. I stand before you today as a candidate for the Democratic nomination for the presidency of the United States of America. Shirley Anita St. Hill was born on November 30th, 1924 in Brooklyn, New York. Always involved in her community, she was a teacher, community organizer. She was the first African-American woman elected to Congress. In 1970, Chisholm was elected to a second term. And two years later, on January 25th, 1972, Chisholm announced her candidacy for presidency, becoming the, the first African-American woman to seek a major party for nomination for president of the United States. I am the candidate of the people of America. She ran on a campaign slogan, unbought and unbossed. And who would think the boss around Shirley? Chisholm did not win the nomination, but she garnered 151 of the delegates' votes. Chisholm served in the House of Representatives until she retired in 1982. We must honor and remember the remarkable achievements of Shirley Chisholm. Freedom fighter, activist, Before there was a Barack teacher, or Hillary, leader of the women's movement, there was Shirley. Congratulations to all of the students who successfully completed the Webster Winter Reading Challenge. And an, an a special congratulations to the grand prize winner, Lydia U. Rice. All participants should stop by the library to pick up their prizes. Don't forget how to play the Money Jar Challenge to see one of your favorite or least favorite teachers take a freezing winter plunge. Silver coins are negative and pennies and cash are positive. So to guarantee that your teacher doesn't take the plunge, put lots of silver coins into their buckets. Put pennies and cash into the buckets of the teachers you wanna see plunge. Missouri State University has an exciting opportunity to offer any students interested in becoming teachers. Hashtag Bears Teach is a summer immersion program where high school students come and stay on the Springfield campus from June 14th to the 18th and receive ACT training, explore careers in teaching, and learn about college life, all free of charge. For more information, contact Dr. Denise Cunningham, the Interim Associate Dean and Department Head of Early Childhood Education and Family Studies. Academic networking website sign up. You can see requests, attend club meetings, or request library visits, all by scanning this QR code and getting set up. Writers are still wanted for our annual All Write Writing Competition. Any genre of writing up to 10 pages, and the semifinalists will present at All Write. You can submit on the All Right Canvas page or bring your hard copies to the Chelsea Center. The deadline has been extended until this Friday, February 11th. What are you doing for others? The Statesman Service Awards this year is only requiring 25 plus volunteer hours. Forms are due by spring break. If you need forms or have any questions, come by Office 124. Camp Wyman. The Webster Groves High School Camp Wyman program is back for the 2021-22 school year. Camp Wyman is designed to provide Webster Groves High School students with leadership skills, including developing mentorship skills, utilizing critical thinking in diverse scenarios, and developing a positive sense of oneself. Students will spend three days at Camp Wyman instructed in counseling, counseling younger students through diverse situations. Benefits of being a counselor include A-plus hours and a fourth of an elective credit in service learning through the Chelsea Center. Are you interested in A-plus hours? Consider volunteering for the Adventure Club, the after-school program provided by the Webster Groves Elementary Schools. If you're interested in learning more about the opportunity, come visit the Chelsea Center. Clubs and teams meeting today. Art Club, Scholar Bowl, and State Spots Robotics team will all meet after school today. Tomorrow morning, there's a Tri-M meeting in the choir room and student council in the PV Commons. And that's it. Have a wonderful rest of your day, statesmen. <laughs>